If you'd like to calculate the surface area of a small hand-drawn region of interest, you can do so in Amira or Aviso. To illustrate, I'm going to use an example that you can find on our Extras page by searching for Tooth, and these are the molar segmentation data. If you click the Download button, unzip those data, we can access them from within our software. First, we need to ensure that the units are calibrated correctly. You can do this by opening up the preferences of the software, navigating to the Units tab, and selecting Spatial Information Only. You can adjust the working units and display units separately, and for these data, the working units should be set to millimeters and the display units set to micrometers. If you'd like to know more, you can click the Units in Amira or Units in Aviso hyperlink respectively. For me, I'm going to navigate to where I saved these data, and I will use the Open Data dialog to find this segmentation underscore denton enamel.am dataset. The original working units for these data are millimeters, so I set that and attach a generate surface module. This creates an initial surface on which I can draw a region of interest. To see this surface, we right click on the surface data and attach a surface view display. I then move the camera so that I can see my feature of interest. In this case, it's going to be one of these cusps on the top of this tooth. And I right click on the surface data itself and attach within the measure and analyze tool box a create surface or text set. I then change the connector type to P2P geodesic and with the shift and left click operator in interact mode, I can click on the surface of the surface and you'll have visual feedback indicating exactly where a line is drawn around the perimeter of your region of interest. Create a closed loop by clicking the first point you selected and finish the operation by selecting the close button within the surface path set editor. Then click the Snap Path to Edges option, which will actually move the line according to where the surface geometry or the triangles are actually found. And then finally click this Patchify Surface option within the Surface Path Set Editor. You can close that editor now and navigate to the surface data. You can observe that there's actually one more patch within these data, so this actually adjusted that data set. To actually do the measurement, attach a surface area volume module and run it in patch mode. By looking at the output spreadsheet, you can see the actual measurement calculated here in either square micrometers or square centimeters. If you'd like to confirm which patch number that your manually drawn region of interest is attributed to, Within the surface view, you can use the buffer editor in patch selection mode and toggle through the patches. This will highlight the patch of interest. We can now see it in square millimeters.